In this video, I'm gonna show you how to increase Windows 11 performance. I'll provide you 10 Windows 11 optimization tips. My name is Sharoz and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. With so many programs running on the startup of your operating system, the operating system and computer get slowed down. Many users, especially those who have installed Windows 11 on unsupported devices, may face performance issues, including lag and occasional freezes. We will discuss some quick ways to make Windows 11 faster and improve the performance. Like if you want to make Windows 11 faster, disabling the visual effects is one of the most efficient methods. You can also adjust the power plans. Getting rid of temporary files can also make a difference. So let's start with the first tip, which is turn on Storage Sense. Storage Sense feature was in Windows 10 as well. And by using this feature, the system will monitor the storage of the computer and then free up the storage by deleting the unwanted files from the system automatically. Unwanted files may include temporary system files, items in the recycle bin, etc. So to turn on Storage Sense, Simply press Windows plus I to open settings. Now in the settings, click on the storage and from this toggle button, you can turn on the storage sense. And from in here, you can set up the automatic user content cleanup. Moreover, you can set up how you want to run it and what you want it to delete. Tip number two, turn off visual effects. Visual effects affect the memory usage as well as the performance of your PC. If your computer is slow, and you want to optimize Windows 11, you should simply turn off visual effects. So to disable visual effects in Windows 11, open the start menu and then search for view advanced system settings and hit enter. You will be headed to the advanced tab in the system properties and under the performance section, click on settings. Now here you can see the four options. Let Windows choose what's best for your computer. Adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance and custom. So to optimize Windows 11 and speed it up, select adjust for best performance option. You can either select custom and then check the desired options like show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Now once it is all done, click on apply and hit OK. And you will have a more tuned and improved PC for a better performance. Tip number three. Disable startup apps. The very next thing that you can do is disable startup apps. Some apps start automatically when you boot into Windows and you can disable these startup apps to optimize Windows 11 and speed it up. So to disable startup apps, head to the settings of your PC and then click on the apps from here and in the app section, click on this startup option. You will see a list of startup apps and you can manually disable them or enable them by clicking on the toggle button right next to each application. Now here along with the toggle button, you can also see that Windows is showing the impact on startup. Some apps have low impact on startup while some have high impact. So if you turn off the high impact applications, then it would be really helpful. Tip number four, disable startup programs. Like startup apps, there are startup programs that you can disable to optimize Windows for better performance. So to disable the startup programs, go to the start menu and search for the task manager. Once it is open, click on more details and go to the startup tab here. A list of startup programs will appear. You can see which apps are active or disabled as well as their startup impact. And you can disable any app that have a large startup impact to do so. First select the program, for example Microsoft OneDrive and then click the disable option in the lower right corner here. So this way you can disable or enable any application in the task manager. Tip number five, remove temporary files. Temporary files can also slow down your PC like downloads, thumbnails, update logs and optimization files etc. So to optimize Windows 11 for faster performance by deleting temporary files, First, open up the settings from the start menu and in the system section, click on storage. Now simply click on temporary files and then select the files that you want to delete such as downloads, thumbnails, etc. and various other files. And after selecting the files, 
click on the remove files button. It will show you a warning that the data will be permanently deleted. So hit continue and it will remove temporary files from your PC. Tip number six, choose a customized power option. Customizing power option can also help in increasing Windows 11 performance. So simply go to the start menu and search for power options. And from here, you can change the time to turn off the display on battery or when your laptop is plugged in. And similarly, you can set the time or put the computer to sleep when your laptop is on battery or when it is plugged in. Tip number seven, defragment and optimize drives. You can actually defragment and optimize your drives as well. For example, if you want to optimize your C drive, simply go to the start menu and search for the defragment and optimize drives and hit enter. In my case, it is only C drive, but if you have C, D or E, you can do the procedure for every drive. So if I want to optimize the C drive, I will simply click on C and then click on this optimize button. And after analyzing, it will show you that it is okay. Tip number eight, delete unnecessary temporary files. You can actually manually delete the unnecessary temporary windows files. Hit windows plus R combo on your keyboard and type percentage temp percentage and hit enter. Now here you can see all the temporary files and folders in the temp directory. So simply press control A and press the delete button. Some of my temporary files are in use, so they are not deleted, but the rest of the unnecessary temporary files are deleted. Similarly, again, press Windows plus R and search for the temp and hit enter. Now you can see this is a different temp folder in the Windows directory. Now in here, again, press Ctrl A and press the delete button. Don't worry, it will only delete the unnecessary temporary files. It won't delete any Windows important file. And once again, press Windows plus R and search for prefetch and hit enter. Now in the prefetch folder as well, press Ctrl A and press the delete button. So this is how you can manually delete unnecessary temporary files one by one by going to the temp folder and prefetch folder. Tip number nine, clean up memory. Cleaning up memory also help in enhancing Windows 11 performance. For cleaning up disk memory, open up the file explorer, go to this PC and right click on the C drive. Go to the properties and select the general tab here. And in the general tab, click on this disk cleanup button. After the scan is finished, a window will pop up something like this. In here, simply click on the OK button and confirm the deletion by clicking on the delete files button. You don't need to worry about anything. It will only delete unnecessary files. All right, after deleting all the unnecessary files, you can also reduce the runtime service. So the tip number 10 is reduce runtime service. For reducing runtime service, simply press Windows plus R and type msconfig and hit enter. In here, go to the services tab and check hide all Microsoft services checkbox so you don't delete the important files of Windows. And also, you can use some registry tweaks as well. For that, simply click on Windows plus R and type REGEDIT, regedit. And in here, go to the H key crunch user, control panel, and mouse. And in here, you can right click on this mouse hover time and modify it and change it to 10 instead of 400. Similarly, go to the desktop and you can change the value of mouse show delay. Modify it and change it to 10. So that's it for this video. I hope this video has helped you in increasing Windows 11 performance. Like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more informative content like this. Thank you.